Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a low carb pizza. Dough, sauce, everything. Um, now this is called a fathead pizza and when I used to do keto with my sister, I used to make these all the time, but if I was going to make a pizza, I would still make this because it's so good. <laughs> and you don't feel full and bloated after you eat it. So we're going to start with the crust. And let me get another bowl. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put two cups of shredded mozzarella in here. Turn my phone off. And I, you know, I, please use the kind that does not have the powder on it, the already pre grated stuff. So put your two cups in there. And then I have two tablespoons of cream cheese. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick this in the oven for about 90 seconds. Halfway through, stir it up good because we just want to get this melted. All right, I've got it melted. You see, it's just like a sh Ooh, This bowl's hot. And it's just going to be that consistency. Just get it melted enough to where it's all combined and all melted. Don't don't overdo it. 90 seconds is probably about good. 75 seconds. So the next thing we're going to do is add one cup of almond flour. I know a lot of people on keto, they use almond flour. And, you know, I can't really tell the difference. It's, it's fine to me. I use a lot of it around here. I made some cupcakes out of it the other day for my sister. So good. All right. And then we're going to add one egg. And I have a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now we just want to get this all combined. And just get it mixed up to where it's like a ball of dough. And this, like I said, this is such a great, great alternative to using bread, regular pizza crust. And it's so cheap, like if you were home and you just wanted to make a quick, and you can, you know, make a quick pizza crust, you could just, I mean, you saw it doesn't take really, as long as you keep some almond flour on hand. But you can use any kind of cheese, you can use sharp cheddar, uh, extra sharp mozzarella anything really like that that you need to grate all right so there's our dough it smells so cheesy and yummy let me wash my hands all right so just get a piece of parchment paper, put your dough out, put some olive oil on your hands. I always forget stuff when I'm making videos, so many ingredients you need and <laughs> I'm constantly running back and forth in the kitchen. So just get this spread out. You can do it square if you want. You can do it anyway. And you want to get this crust thin, but not paper thin. And what I usually do is I take another piece of parchment paper. Okay. And just take my little rolling pin 
and just try to thin it out to where it's more uniform. And you can feel it. You can you can tell if it's got raised places anywhere you need to go over a little bit. I think that's good. And then just crimp your edges. Go around it and it does not have to be perfect. You just want a little edge on your pizza. And I've got my oven on 400. And just leave your pizza dough, you can just leave it right on this parchment paper and put it on a, a baking sheet, a pizza pan. One time I made this and I set it on a pizza stone without the parchment paper. That was a total mess. It stuck straight to my pizza stone. And then what you want to do, because when you when you cook this in the oven, this starts bubbling up, okay? So you want to take a, a toothpick and just poke holes all in it. Or you can take a fork, anything, just to let the air escape. And put this on 400 for about five minutes and check it, and you'll start seeing bubbles come up and just open the door and just get you a fork or a toothpick and just reach in the oven and just stick everywhere you see the bubbles coming up and after that five minutes I'd say probably cook it for another five just so you want to get it golden brown okay and we'll stick this in the oven and we'll be back to make our sauce for our pizza sauce, I can't forget about that dough in the oven. Oh. For our pizza sauce, we're going to use one can, 14.5 ounces of diced tomatoes. One tablespoon of olive oil. One tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Garlic. Probably about one, one tablespoon of minced garlic. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. We're just gonna uh, let's see. Oh, all right. So I'm just gonna pulse this, okay? put some salt in here let me like two pinches of salt and a pinch of pepper All right, 
That's pretty good. Now we just wait for our dough to come out of the oven and we'll finish assembling our pizza. Our pizza dough is out of the oven. I think it probably cooked for maybe a total of 15 minutes or so. It, you just want it to get this pizza thing is hot. You just want it to get nice and golden. It'll look like that. And you see like those dark raised areas? That's where it starts bubbling. And like I said, just after about five minutes, just start uh, checking on it. And just using your fork or a toothpick. So now we're going to put our sauce on here. I don't know if I'll use it all. Let's see. And you can put any, of course you know that, you can put any toppings you want. This one, I had bought some pepperoni to put on here, but I'm going to take it to my daughter and she doesn't eat, she doesn't like that on, all that on her pizza. I should probably like hamburger, but... I think that's good. That's enough. Well, there's a little bit left in there, but I don't need it. And then I have some sliced fresh mozzarella. And this was a 16-ounce container. And I'm just going to use... I'm just going to tear it in little chunks. I'm just going to use maybe half of it. You can use regular mozzarella, sharp cheddar, you know, it's just endless. I think I'm going to put a little bit of my toppings on real quick and then finish putting my so for my toppings, I just cut up, of course, some of my cherry tomatoes. Um, I, I cut up a real thin slice, uh, not even a half of a red onion, just like a little medium, small red onion. Put those on here. And then I got uh, one of my green peppers out of the garden. I sliced it up pretty thin. And then just throw our cherry tomatoes on there. I hope you guys try this pizza crust and just put whatever you want on there, but it is so delicious. So easy. Alright, so that's like about 8 ounces of the, the fresh mozzarella. And then I have you know these things you can buy in the grocery store in the produce section? It's like little fresh herbs. This is some basil. Sprinkle that on. about a tablespoon and a half and then I'm gonna throw a little Parmesan on it so I, I got I'm gonna put some grated and some um, grated and some uh, this uh, 
finely ground Parmesan shaker stuff. All right. Now I'm going to stick this back in the oven, still on 400. Maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'll let you guys know. My pizza is out of the oven. It looks delicious. I've let it cool for probably about 15 or 20 minutes. Now, you can use a jar of pizza sauce. You don't have to do that homemade pizza sauce, which would be easier. Because this really isn't about the sauce or anything. This is about uh, the dough. still warm and now this pizza the when it gets cooler the crust firms up more I just wanted to let y'all know that because this is still pretty steamy hot it tastes so good and like I said I love this because I could eat half of this pizza literally I could eat half of this pizza and you don't just feel like bread stomach, okay? Um, I like I do like pan type pizza crust, but I also like thin. But I notice when I eat thin crust pizzas, I can eat so much of it. But this one here, low carb, and it's yummy. So I hope you guys try it out and make you one. And if you do, let me know how you like it. It tastes amazing. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment. And let me know if you've ever tried a pizza like this. Or made the crust like this. But I'll see you guys on my next video, okay? Love you. Bye. I meant to also tell you guys. If you want to take this pizza whole. I've already cut mine up. But if you want to take this pizza off whole. Off this parchment paper. And put it on like a... Uh, cooling rack. That'll get your crust firmer faster. Um, but it's just up to you guys. Just wanted to let you know that. Bye. <laughs>